Hey everyone, I'm here with a new guest. This is super exciting for me. This is the founder of Anshares, which is now known as Hello. Neil. So, Da Hongfei, yeah. can you introduce yourself? What is your role and how you got into cryptocurrency? Okay. Yeah, I, I'm the founder of uh, Neil or Anshares, uh, together with Eric Zhang. He's the technical guy, and I'm the overall guy in charge of like uh, technically everything. <laughs> and uh, I came across uh, Bitcoin in 2011, so I'm wow. quite a veteran in this uh, this area and I, 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 I actually I plan to do a, a cryptocurrency exchange in 2012 but I uh, didn't make it uh, then I, I worked full-time in the crypto uh, uh, industry in 2013 with uh, six other guys and we founded a, an organization called the uh, Bit Angels Club and that was uh, that organization will do meetups in, in Shanghai, in Beijing, and even Hong Kong. And after that, we spin off a project. At that time, it was called uh, a X system for crowdfunding, and it it is we called it a DAC, a decentralized autonomous uh, company or corporation. Uh, after that, we renamed the project to Anshares, and now we re renamed rebranded it to to Neo. I think it's a, it's a whole new start. Oh wow! And yeah. with the name change comes mm -hmm. a lot of technology changes yeah. as well. Yeah. So you've been really called the mm -hmm. Ethereum of China. Yeah. Uh, how yeah. did you get that name? Uh, I think it it is because in Anshir's era we focused more on digital assets. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't do a lot of work on uh, smart contract, mm -hmm. but the smart contract is getting uh, attraction uh, very uh, very quickly recently. Mm -hmm. So uh, in Neo. We uh, put a lot of effort in developing a, a whole new different uh, ecosystem for smart contract. Okay. Yeah. So I guess that's why they call us uh, the Chinese user. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. And what makes NEO special then? What uh -huh. makes this new smart contract system yeah. special? Mm -hmm. uh, at NEO, we see there are uh, three approaches to do smart contract. Uh, the first one is by uh, Ethereum. They, uh, they wrote a, a uh, brand new VM, virtual machine, uh, EVM. And then they invented a language, a new language called Solidity. Uh, so the developers have to spend uh, like uh, two weeks or more to learn Solidity and to write a smart contract. So that's the first approach. Uh, the second approach is e a very easy approach, easy approach that, that is by uh, the fabric of uh, Hyperledger. Uh, they, they directly use, uh, use uh, Docker to run the smart contract, mm -hmm. or, or they call it uh, a chain code. Uh, but there are it's there are problems underlying problems with the second approach because uh, you can actually you can run any program on uh, Docker. Uh, for example, uh, you can write a program to get a random number. But if the program is the chain code is smart contract to get a random number is in a Docker and run by different nodes, they will get different results. Oh, so they, they right. can't reach consensus. Right, so right. You need to do some extra work to make sure they they, they get a consensus. Mm -hmm. So we think that's probably not a good way, uh, but it's very easy. You just use a doctor. Mm -hmm. um, oh, so we took the third approach. We uh, wrote a our own VM. It's called a new VM, and then we uh, a new, the, the the architect of new VM is very similar to Java VM and uh, the VM used by uh, Microsoft. So it's they are all uh, we call it stack based VM. Okay. Uh, and then we wrote compilers to compile the intermediate language from uh, the .NET language and the Java language to the opcoder run on the Neo VM. Uh -huh. Yeah. So the developers they don't need to learn any new language. They just use Java or use C sharp or any language supported by the .NET. Uh, oh wow, so it's the studio. whole .NET framework. And this is yeah. quite popular right now, because .NET yeah. is what Microsoft is really pushing. Yeah. So you can yeah. develop on .NET. So if you have existing knowledge with .NET, yeah. you can develop on there. Yeah. Then you can use that on Neo and the Neo VM. Exactly, exactly. Oh, yes. wow, that's, that's pretty interesting. Yeah. And we plan to support more languages like C++, Python, mm -hmm. and other, other popular languages. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, so it's language support is a huge thing. So now developers yeah. can really easily access um, block, uh, smart, smart contract technology yeah. mm -hmm. uh, using Neo instead of learning something new um, with yeah. Solidity. So I like to use the metaphor. Uh, Ethereum, Solidity, Ethereum, the, the smart contract system is like the, uh, the connector of lightning, lightning connector. Right. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's invented by Apple. Right. Yeah. 
uh, and uh, Docker. They they just use the uh, the the war plug. They, oh. they don't they don't do anything. They just use the war plug. Okay. Yeah. The war plug. Okay. Yeah, and uh, we're like a uh, USB Type C. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's very compatible, but it's not so popular uh, today. Right. But I believe it will be very popular uh, in the near future. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And you actually still have, you kept retained a lot of your digitalization of assets, concepts yeah. as well. So yeah. you're actually building on top of the existing platform, adding new features on. Yeah. So when will we get to see these new mm -hmm. features? When will developers start accessing mm -hmm. the new smart contract features in Neo? Okay. Uh, we are in the progress of up upgrading the network from uh, 1.0 to 2.0. Okay. Yeah. And after we finish that on uh, 8th of August, okay. uh, we will have the whole network to be upgraded. At that time, you can deploy, you can execute uh, all the uh, smart contract features. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's very close to be ready. Okay. Yeah. For our viewers, if you have any mm -hmm. Neo share, um, Neo mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. uh, is there any risk of this mm -hmm. upgrade? Is there um, there, is there anything they need to take care of okay. when, when you're upgrading with wallet securing that and yeah. not sending transactions? Is there anything we must okay. do? Uh, uh, as a regular user, you don't need to do anything actually. Okay. You can upgrade the client or you don't upgrade it's it's all okay you can you can do that after uh, even after uh, august 8 okay yeah, so no problem you don't need to worry about it if your uh, new is on the exchange so actually you, you don't need to do anything oh yeah yeah okay. so you work with all the exchanges and make sure everything's good with that yeah okay. everything is working behind the scene yeah oh, okay so yeah. that that's pretty cool and also, um, coming support for your wallet. I asked, like, there's a question asked. You guys are you gonna support Mac OS yeah, soon? Yeah, uh, I've been asked this question for like a dozen times. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I understand there are a lot of uh, Mac users that mm -hmm. want to use the, the client. Uh, we have discussed uh, this issue with my team with Eric John for mm -hmm. quite a long time, mm -hmm. and we made a conclusion that we will focus on one client. That is a Windows desktop client. Okay. It's a full node, so uh, it has uh, uh, everything, uh, all of the functions. Mm -hmm. But we will let the uh, community to do the rest of the clients. Oh, okay. yeah. right. What right. I heard of there is a uh, there is an organization formed by the community. It's called COZ or City of Sion. Uh, I, I think they get the name from the Matrix movie. Yeah. <laughs> <And Yeah. laughs> right. They are doing a wallet. They're doing a wallet. And it will support Windows and Mac. Oh, yeah. okay. And right. with a better user experience. Okay. Yeah. Right. The thing is, if we do everything, uh, because we did it, so uh, I think the, the the common users will will use what we built. Mm -hmm. So the community won't uh, grow. Yeah. Yes. So, so you we, want a community yeah. grow as well. Yeah. And there's a lot of communities mm -hmm. developing mm -hmm. as well. We've seen yeah. a subreddit. Yeah. Uh, for Neo, and we see more communities yeah. just growing every yeah. day, and yeah. I think that's something very exciting. It's very exciting, yeah, very exciting, yeah. I, I didn't expect that, but uh, recently I, I found there are a lot of uh, uh, requests from from the international uh, community. Mm -hmm. That's that's awesome. Yeah, excellent. And also um, about development. So, how mm -hmm. big is your team right now? Uh, we have uh, six full-time developers okay. uh, building things around uh, Neo, mm -hmm. and uh, two of them are we call core developers. Okay. Yeah, because uh, Eric John is uh, is one of the core developer. He insists on a very strict uh, definition of developer and core developers. Right. Uh, I just uh, last time we where we I think it's uh, yesterday, the day before yesterday, we did the AMA on Reddit. Mm -hmm. I checked the Bitcoin. Uh, they have uh, they only have four uh, I think fifteen core developers yeah. and uh, I think it, uh, probably a few months ago they have six uh, core developers so two core developers is is absolutely not a, not a, not a problem mm -hmm. yeah and uh, they the two the two core developers uh, for new they are really good and uh, they will be focusing on the protocol level. Uh, Development and let the community do a lot, a lot of uh, third-party uh, applications around you. Okay, and uh, I just have to say yeah. as well, with coding um, in blockchain, it's all about yeah. good code rather than lots of code. Yes. And I totally yeah. respect the fact yeah. that you have um, yeah. a very good core team. Yeah. So moving on, so what sort of collaborations do you have mm. with the Chinese government? Because the <laughs> other part is one part is Ethereum, the other part yeah. is the Chinese Ethereum. So uh -huh. what sort of um, collaborations do yeah. you have with the Chinese or Chinese government or companies here? Okay, uh, Neo is actually a, a community-driven and a community-funded uh, program, open-source uh, project. Mm -hmm. uh, Neo 
doesn't have direct uh, cooperation with Chinese government, mm -hmm. uh, but we have another entity called Onchain. It's okay. a private company. Okay. It is funded by me, Eric Zhang, and three other co-founders. Mm -hmm. uh, one is from a future ex uh, a official future exchange in, mm -hmm. in Shanghai. Another guy is from uh, Qualcomm. They, mm -hmm. He used to, to uh, work in, in the States. Mm -hmm. And the, the fifth guy is from Morgan Stanley. Okay. Uh, used, or used to work in the States. Okay. So fifth, uh, five of us funded OnChain, the, the, the company. Mm -hmm. And OnChain has a, quite some connections with the government. We have very good uh, uh, communication channel with government. Mm -hmm. uh, we even have a joint company set up in, in Guiyang, oh, which wow. is uh, okay. the, the, we, we call captain of, uh, what is the word, capital of big data technology right. in China. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we set up a joint company with the government in, in Guiyang and uh, doing a, a chain called uh, Identity Chain. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. so that's, uh, that's what we, how we work with the government. Yeah, and we are also in talk with uh, different local governments. Yeah. Oh, wow. And I've heard there were some like rumors of yeah. collaboration uh -huh. with either Al Alibaba, Microsoft, yeah. uh -huh. or uh -huh. other companies. Yeah. Um, is that true? Uh, I, I won't say there are uh, cooperation with Alibaba because uh, they have a, they have a, Alibaba have a, a mailbox service. They use uh, Law Chain to, to 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 record all the emails. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that I won't call it a cooperation. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, and with uh, with Microsoft, it's not a story because we are uh, we we are the first blockchain that supports to re to write a smart contract in C sharp. Mm -hmm. So Microsoft is quite happy with that. Right, right, and right. We are right. using uh, .NET Core to to build all the blockchains. Mm -hmm. So uh, they think it's a good addition to their ecosystem. Right. So yes, we are in cooperation with uh, with Microsoft. Yeah, because yeah. I saw your. Um, what is it? Your announcement yeah. for Neo was yeah. actually done in the Microsoft headquarters. Yeah, yeah. So that yeah. was pretty exciting for you yeah. guys there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. So another thing about Neo is the uh, digitalization of assets. Yeah. And you're still keeping that. So can you yes. explain what that is and how that works? Uh, my belief is uh, every as all assets will be digitalized because uh, liquidity is very important to, to, to assets. Uh, so if you have a if you have an asset that can be, uh, you can add more liquidity to the asset. Uh, you, 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 you will have the incentive, incentive, to, do, incentive to do that. Uh, so we have uh, uh, we, what we call digital, uh, digital identity. So the real world asset can be mirrored into the blockchain and it will be protected by the, by the law. Yeah. So it's, you will have more assets than the uh, so I have one last question about mm. how NEO works. So is yeah. NEO proof of stake or proof of work? Yeah, the consensus mechanism used uh, by NEO is not uh, POW or POS. It's called DBFT, or it stands for Delegated BFT. So it's actually a two-tier uh, consensus mechanism. The first tier, you have to use your stake. For the first tier is like POS, proof of stake. Mm -hmm. You use your stake or NEO to vote for the consensus node to vote for who can take part in the consensus process. Okay. And uh, uh, there will be a tens of uh, nodes get elected as the consensus node. The con then the consensus node will take part in the, a BFT style consensus. A BFT style consensus has have some advantages, like the, the finality is very good. When you get one confirmation, it's confirmed. And the oh. second uh, advantage is there are no fork. Once, uh, if if uh, if we meet the safety requirement, there will be no fork. If oh. there is one fork, if the fork do happen, uh, that means that we already break the uh, safety uh, exemption uh, assumption. Uh, then the network will stop. So actually, we are uh, in our design goal is favor is uh, favoring uh, uh, consistency uh, over uh, liveness. So if there are fork, the network will be small. Mm -hmm. And if you guys want to find more about it, mm -hmm. where's the best way to find more about mm -hmm. Neo right now? Uh, the, there are uh, several ways. Uh, first, you visit uh, the official website, neo.org. Yeah. And if you are a developer, you can visit docs.neo.org okay. to find a tutorial to how to write a smart contract on Neo. And if you want to have discussion with uh, the community, you can visit Reddit 
the separated, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, r slash uh, neo n e o. Yeah. Okay. Or you follow my Twitter or Neo's Twitter. Yeah. Well, actually, we need to ask yeah. what what kind of corporate co collaborations do you have right now? Because I think you have collaboration partners, right? Yeah. Uh, Neo has uh, yeah Neo has some collaboration with other project uh, blockchain projects right and on chain has uh, uh, many cooperation with uh, companies or even governments okay. yeah and we plan we have a protocol called a cross chain protocol named uh, Neo X so okay. we are trying we are thinking about how to link uh, consulting blockchains mm -hmm. with public block blockchains to oh. make it a internet of blockchains. Oh, it's like okay. uh, connecting all the internet into the internet. <laughs> I yeah, see. Yeah. So and that's Neo what, will be the yeah. kind of the, the center of everything. So the public one will be... Yeah, yeah. the yeah. public one uh, definitely will be the biggest one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. okay. And is there yeah. anything you want to talk about Neo as mm -hmm. well? Anything you want to plug? Uh, I think uh, what makes uh, the strength of a blockchain is really not the price, or, or 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 the or even the team, it's more like the ecosystem. We would like uh, more developers to join us to write smart contracts on Neo and maybe do some ICUs on Neo. Yeah, and that will make Neo a great project. Awesome. Yeah. So I would like to thank Da Hong Fei for coming here and giving the time for this interview. Thank yeah. you guys so much for watching. Mm -hmm. See you next time. See you.